Hi guys, welcome to my channel The Girl Next Door. So usually तो हम वैसे बहुत fun and chill videos करते हैं but today's video is very important, especially for the students who want to apply for PhD entrance examination. If you're interested, please keep on watching and now let's get started. So Aligarh Muslim University has recently declared its dates for examinations and ever since then I have been bombarded with a lot of questions. For those of you who don't know, I am actually pursuing PhD in English from Aligarh Muslim University and I gave my entrance entrance examinations last year so i think i might be able to help you out so please keep on watching the video in this video i'll be sharing with you all my tips and tricks what to study how to prepare the syllabus the pattern the difficulty level and most importantly previous years question papers yes you won't find them very easily but i have shared some of the question papers from previous years so that it can get a lot more easier for you So the PhD entrance examination is basically divided into two parts. First is the written part and if you qualify the written part then you will be called for a viva or a presentation. But in this video we'll be only talking about the written examination and how you can qualify it. So the written exam is again divided into two parts. Each part is of 40 marks. So section A consists of many different topics and we will be discussing about it in detail. And section B consists of the subject concerns means questions will come from your subject. So each section will have 40 questions that makes a total of 80 marks and 20 marks will be of your viva or presentation that too if you will qualify the written examination. So here I have pasted a picture of the syllabus of section a that will consist of these many topics so please have a look so the section a will have questions from research aptitude reasoning logical reasoning diagrams or syllogism venn diagrams analytical reasoning a passage a reading comprehension will be given So you must study about research aptitude what is research what are the types of research the surveys the process of data collection interviews the types of interviews what is case study what is uh, descriptive research what is empirical research uh, a lot more about research ethics plagiarism so questions also come from the bibliography section they ask you what is apa what is mla style of referencing they also ask you how to you know cite what are the what are the types of citations what is in text citations and how to do chapterization how to do paraphrasing what is annotations and also about punctuations how to do paraphrasing and also from the reasoning section they ask you a lot of questions about blood relations coding deed coding shapes diagrams uh, maths a little bit of maths is also involved they ask you number and alphabet series uh, verbal reasoning syllogism sequences patterns they ask you to study the diagram and answer the following questions there are so many different types of questions but i'll provide you the question papers that all of this becomes really really easy for you so now let's talk about how to start preparing what all material and books you should be referring to so first of all you should have a look uh, at the previous years question paper so that you know what is the pattern what type of questions they ask what is the syllabus what is your you know knowledge the level of your knowledge and also the level of the question papers to be honest uh, the question uh, the paper is not very easy but you have to work hard and also the limited seats makes the competition even more difficult so now that you have an idea of the question paper you should start studying the concepts you should know the concepts the basics must be very clear to you for that you should refer to some book and uh, the book that i studied from is this one so most of you might be familiar with this kvs madan so this is for net and grf but it consists of the topics that you need to study for your amu phd entrance examination so they have explained the topic research aptitude and uh, logical reasoning and 
reasoning which includes mathematics also all these topics are explained really really nicely and with this you will be able to clear all your concepts now that your concepts are clear you should again come to the question paper and see how much you have learned but in the question paper you will find some questions that are troublesome and that you did not study about so what you can do is when you see the question uh, try to find out the answer but do not move on i'm sure that all the other three options are also unfamiliar so what you can do is you can just look for the answers or the definitions or what what all the other three options mean let's understand this with the help of an example so this is a question that came last year in question paper so for example if you don't know the answer to the question first of all look for the correct answer and also look for what all the other options mean for example uh, you should know about applied research you should know about action oriented research quantitative qualitative all types of research you must know with this you will prepare not only one but four different topics Isn't it amazing in this way you can work smart and save time So now we come to the end of this video and now I'll be sharing with you all previous year's question papers So you can take screenshots of these question papers and do not you have to look for the answers for yourself do not go by the answers of by the answers sticked here as they might be correct or incorrect So here are the questions one tip that I would like to give you is that it's okay study for paper 1 but it's better that you focus on your paper more because even if you mess up your paper 1 it's all right but if you score really really good marks in your subject paper then you'll be able to qualify the examination so this paper that i'm sharing with you is of session 2019 and 20 I'll also be sharing with you 2018 paper and also 2017 paper. Back in 2017 the pattern was different as there was also a descriptive part but I'll give you only the optional questions that are that were there in the paper. So this is the question paper of the year 2017. and in between you'll find some questions that are related to the paper 2 from question number 31 to 39 i guess uh, the, uh, the questions are from paper 2 so i have omitted that This is the question paper of session 2018 and 19 and with this we come to an end of this video. I hope you like it and if it was useful in any way please like my video, subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell icon so that whenever I upload a video you get notified. And you can also share this with your classmates, your friends so that they can also take advantage of all of this. So I hope this was helpful study hard and I wish you all the very best for your examination Also if you have any doubts confusions or if you need any kind of help you can just comment down below I'm always there reading your comments and replying to them Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye